<laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, the reason I do that is because I have to hold my microphone really far away from my computer because it makes this really annoying and loud buzzing noise. So whenever I start the recording, I always make a noise so I know when to start it in the editing. <laughs> because I have to rush back to my microphone and it takes like at least half a second. And I don't want the audio to be half a second off, even though the timing doesn't really matter and that's because it's, it's an episode commentary. I'm rambling about nothing. <laughs> Good start. Um, anyways, yes, this is the episode commentary of Buzz Lightyear vs. Invader Zim. Um, I'm just gonna be pretty straightforward with this and say that this was indeed a filler episode <laughs> to prepare for the next one, Samurai Jack vs. Link, because that's that's a pretty big matchup compared to the silly Gru vs. Megamind or familiar Buzz Lightyear vs. Zim. I mean, Gru vs. Megamind wasn't filler, it was just an easy episode to make. Um, but this was basically just filler. Just me bringing back an old fight I planned for fictional fights, two characters I've already researched, you know, sort of a Akuma vs. Heihachi sort of deal. Except with Akuma vs. Heihachi, it was two losers from fictional fights battling each other. But now with Buzz Lightyear vs. Zim, it's two winners from fictional fights battling each other. So, yeah, that was... That's a fun thing to think about. So, woo! Um, but yeah, this uh, it was interesting going back to Buzz versus uh, Buzz Lightyear of Star Command again. I still had a few notes from the last time I used Buzz, but I decided to go back and check out a few things again just to double check and make sure. I like that little exploding house scene. I forgot to include that in fictional fights, um, but I included it here. And I couldn't find the footage for the life of me at first. I was like, where is that house thing where he explodes, where his house explodes and he survives even though he doesn't have his armor on? Where is it? And then I found it like during editing. And <laughs> it was really embarrassing. I had to like put yellow text over it. You can see it later on in the episode. Um, as for Zim, it was fun going over Zim again. I watched some of Zim. I streamed it on Rabbit for some of my viewers to watch to prepare them for this special. Um, I did watch Buzz a while back, but that was before I announced the episode, I think. So yeah. My viewers have been refreshed on Buzz vs. Zim as well, because they've seen it streamed on Rabbit. Mm. Um, and they're also making a Toy Story 4! I'm very excited for that. I know it's like, oh great, they're making another one. Oh boy, they're milking the franchise. And yeah, they are, but it's Toy Story! Who doesn't love Toy Story? Um, and Invader Zim has an upcoming special. Oh! Oh, I forgot! He can use other oh, I forgot! In the chest piece oh the man, I should have waited. Like two fancy oh man, I should have waited. Strength, though, Buzz's oh no! Pilot and has his own ship called the <laughs> that has lasers, <laughs> devices, and a no! Oh no! It's also Whoopsie daisy! A bit well, let's hope it doesn't change anything. I forgot, Invader Zim has a new special coming. How old my brain has been mushed today. I forgot about Buzz's speed feat when making the episode. Yeah, believe it or not, that actually happened. The speed feat I pranced around with show OP Buzz was. And then I forgot when coming up with the episode idea. I was like, hey, space guy and a space guy who won in my previous show, why not make them fight each other? And I completely forgot the speed difference. So, yeah. And now I forgot the Invader Zim special. They're making a new Zim special on Nickelodeon. Along with Rocco's Modern Life and, um, 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 um Hey Arnold. So yeah, I'm excited to see all this nostalgia come back. Because nostalgia is very big right now. And I think now's the time for it. Because, you know, that 70s show came in the late 90s, and now it's the late 2010s, so it's time for the 90s stuff to come back. I'm still waiting for that 90s show. It's going to start any year now. Come on! That 90s show! I, I'd make that. I'd make that, even though I remember nothing from the 90s, because I was born in 97. <laughs> He's an interesting little guy. He's the um, let's see, what else is there to talk about besides me being an idiot and forgetting very obvious things that could possibly change the outcome? Like, if Zim 
<laughs> if Zim gets a huge speed upgrade that puts him on Buzz's level in the special, and then some weird strength upgrade, I'm gonna be so mad. Um, at least it's not the Wreck-It Ralph versus Incredibles, Mr. Incredible situation, because you don't know how many comments I got saying, Oh man, you should have waited for Incredibles 2 and Wreck-It Ralph 2 because they're coming. And I'm like, yeah, in two to three years. They're not coming possibly in a couple months like the Invader Zim special. I'm surprised no one reminded me of the Zim special coming out. And it was... And everyone was reminding me of Incredibles 2 and Wreck-It Ralph 2. So that was... Oh, I feel like a major idiot now. But yeah, Samurai Jack vs. Link is coming up next. Um, I know Ganon vs. Aku is a popular matchup. And they're light, they're good, good hero counterparts, Link and Zemurai Jack, not counterparts, enemies, arch nemesis, are, um, whatever, they're, they're good guys, the bad guys, good guys, have lots of similarities as well, specifically the Breath of the Wild one though, and I guess Ocarina of Time too, because time travel, yada yada. But yeah, lots of stuff in common, it'll be a cool, fun fight, and boop doop. I have nothing else to talk about, so might as well stop running up the time and making the video longer. Um, so goodbye, gotta go hit stop button.